the mask and tape treasures. First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. <laughs> Today we're going to be making Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman was a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. But when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Well, <laughs> yeah, Frosty the Snowman. Okay, but first, you're going to need some material. You're going to need brushes, acrylic paint. Make sure you get white. And... Paper, what? Plate. No, 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 no. And you're going to need masking tape. 1.88 or any tape that you have. And. <laughs> okay, let's get started, y'all. Frosty Snowman. We're gonna make him a make him a this snowman right quick. These are pretty quick to make. But I'm gonna slow it down a little bit for y'all, okay? You wanna make a ball. This the, the one at the bottom is gonna be bigger. It's gonna be the biggest one. So make it the size that you want your snowman to be. So, I'm going, to, going to just make it about like wheels. Wheels. Like this. Okay? Okay. Let's see, can we get this camera angle a little bit more so y'all can see? Now, there we go. Now we can make the next one. I, uh, hold on, I'm going to make this right here, make this one a little smaller, so, there we go, just want to make, make sure it's rounded, two, we need one more, which is the head, which is going to be smaller, noticeably smaller. Make it like this. See, it's going to go on the top like this. Then we got to make this little hat. Like this, twist it a little, then we're gonna join it together like this. See that? Like that. Then we're gonna mold it. Make it just like whales. Now let's get the brim. You see? Now let's get the brim. Brim should be like so. Ball it up. There's nothing to it. Uh oh, my nose. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Okay. Put the brim on there. Like this. 
then we'll close the top off. Right now, see, you see on the back, it's not like that on the back. We're gonna put a little more tape. Like I said, don't worry about the, the dents and everything you see in there. We're going to shape that up later. Okay? We're going to shape that up later. We just want to get the form of it, the hat. Okay? Put a little more on there. <clears throat> there must have been a bracket. Okay, well, I don't know. I forget the map, the Frosty Snowman song. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And put this in here. And there we go. We got the brown. You see? See the whole hat. Now, press down. Make sure you press in at the top. Then just shape, shape. Keep shaping it. Go around, shape, shape, shape. Shape, 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 shape. Shape, 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 da 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 Shape, shape, shape. All right. There we go. Now, let's go around his head. You see it. Like so. Okay. Now, we need to put some little arms out. I think he it was made out of branches or something. So who cares? But you know what color these got to be be brown. Okay, so make sure you got some brown too. Like so. Stick in there. Hold up. Got the Put some more in this area. Why y'all didn't tell me? There we go. There we go. Now, I'll stick it in like this. There we go. Then we want to get another one. Another one. <laughs> We're going to. Put the skin on them. The Frosty Snowman have skin? Huh. I wouldn't know. All right. There we go. Put the little. Just want to anchor this down here. There we go. Now, they said he had a button nose, two eyes made out of coal. The coal was black. Okay. But the nose, I always thought the nose was a carrot. See that? But I've, I've sealed the hole up in the top. What do y'all think? Y'all think his nose should be a carrot or should it be like a a, 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 a lump of coal or something? Or a button nose? That's kind of strange, ain't it? Oh, well, he ain't real anyway. I'm going to make his nose a carrot. You can make a, a button for a nose or, or whatever you want to do. I'm telling y'all, I'm making his nose a carrot. So, there we go. Twist the end like that. Twist the end of it. Make it kind of pointed like so. Now, there we go. 
All right. Now, let's get ready to put the skin on it. Oh, oh, oh. Story time. This story time is about the crazy pets I've had. The crazy pets. Okay, when I was when I was younger, when I was maybe a teenager, maybe 13, something like that, I obtained a turtle. And that turtle was named Cyclops because he had a hook. They caught him, you caught him with the hook, you know, fishing. And we brought him in, and I, I wanted to keep him. So I kept this, this turtle. Keep in mind, I kept this turtle for 10 long years. 10 long years. <clears throat> this was this turtle would come to the tank, come up to me. When I tap on the tank, he'd come over to me. I don't think, I don't know if he wanted food or what. But I fed, I fed him earthworms, hot dogs. You name it. I fed him whatever we ate sometimes, you know. And he grew just fine. He grew just fine. He was uh, called, a, a, I think, a Eastern Painted Turtle. He was a painted turtle. <laughs> he had little colors around the side of him. He was a nice turtle. He was a nice turtle. I even put him on the back porch in the wintertime. He dug under the dirt that I put inside of there and he hibernated the whole winter. So I didn't have to take care of him at all. Then when springtime came, I thawed it out, let it thaw out, and he came out, was was just back to normal. <laughs> That's weird, ain't it? But ultimately I took that turtle and I started feeling bad about it. I started feeling bad about keeping them captive all of that time. And I took them and I set them free. I took them back to the pond where I caught them at. And set them free. Set them free. And he he didn't take off right away. He turned around, looked at me. I said, go, go, go. I kept trying to, trying to scare him, slapping the water and stuff. And he stayed right there for a minute. Then all of a sudden, he noticed that he was free. Boom, he was gone. <laughs> the next one was a a, a a a rabbit. This rabbit, I got this rabbit when it was this big. It was just a little baby. It was just a baby. Now, the uh, the lab where I worked at. I worked at a botanical club, okay? The lab where I worked at, and I used to just take care of the animals, just feed them, clean the cages and stuff. But one day, this rabbit had babies. We didn't know that, though. But the badger, we had a badger in there, too. You know, a badger is the one of the little short little mammals, and they got long claws, and they mean, they mean. During the night when we weren't there, the badger got in there, killed the mama, and killed all of the babies except one. Killed all of the babies. And it was just one hiding up under the uh, straw and stuff. So I took it. It was a little bitty baby rabbit like this. And I got him and took him home. At first, I had him in a little bird cage, and then when it grew up, it grew up big, like about this, you know. It was big, but she was a uh, albino, I think, because she had red eyes, and she was pure white, not a spot of a different color on her at all. She was pure white, but she was a, he was a, she was a, a beautiful rabbit though. But I named her Blackie. Don't ask me why I named her Blackie. She, but she was white as snow and had pink eyes. So I had Blackie for 
another 10 years or, or 15 years. I had black hair a long, long time. And I don't know what I did with Blackie. I think I tried to set her free. I, I think I was going to take her to the uh, forest preserve and set her free. But I think I gave her to another person who had uh, rabbits. You know, because if I would have set her free, she wouldn't have survived out there. Because she's white. She didn't have camouflage or nothing. <clears throat> so, I... Uh, so I just gave her to somebody. I, th I think I, it was a long time ago, man. My, my mind is kind of blurred on that. But I knew Blackie was a, a good rabbit. She was like a dog. She would follow me around and everything. So. And then Blackie had babies, too. She had six babies. And one of them I named Bumblebee. But she was a... a I forget what type of rabbit she was. A New Zealand white. That's what she was. A New Zealand white. Now, she made it with a Flemish giant. A Flemish giant. I didn't know she was pregnant because I, when I went out of town, I went to Alabama and I took Blackie back to the uh, lab where I worked. And I said, could you keep her until I come back? So they kept her. And then when I came back, I, I went and got her and everything. But this Flemish giant made it with her. The Flemish giants are big, big rabbits. Real big. He made it with her. And she had him. And one of her babies I named Bumblebee. He was half Flemish giant, half New Zealand white. And he was brown. But he was big. He was a huge rabbit. So... I get rid of all of them. I get rid of all of them. Next uh, was Chicken Little. This was a bird. This was not any bird, though. When it was a little chick, I think my brother spotted him first. My brother spotted him by a tree. And it was little bitty chick. So he came told me, and I came and looked at him, and I said, I'm going to take him home. I picked him up, and I took him home. And I tried to feed him bugs and stuff, you know, like the mama bird would feed. But I thought it was a robin or something. No. He started growing. Then I noticed that uh, I started looking in the book for stuff that they eat. So one day I had some chicken gizzard. Gizzard. It was a, I cut a piece, a little bitty piece. And then I was handing it to the bird, and it took his foot and grabbed it. And then said, and spread his wings. I said, oh, wait a minute now. What is this? And I looked, I looked in the encyclopedia and found out that it was a sparrow hawk. It was a sparrow hawk. So I, I'm like, man, I, I don't know. My mother didn't know what it was. So I kept it that way. I didn't let her know that it was a hawk. I had a hawk in the house. So then he got about this big and he really started getting, you know, possessive over his food. I had to buy him chicken gizzards and kick chicken liver and stuff and give it to him. And he would grab it with his foot and then... Cover it with his wings. He would just screech and stuff. So finally, and then I started let I tried to teach him how to fly. Teach him how to fly. So I just kept throwing him in the air, letting him you know fly. Then when he got that down pat, he was fully grown then. And he he really looked like a hawk. He had the pointed beak and the, the claws and everything. So I said, uh, it's time for you to go. I didn't want to get rid of him. I like the I like the bird, but that a house is no no place for uh, a sparrow hawk. They need to be out where they can hunt stuff and everything like that. So I took him out to the forest preserve and threw him in the air. Me and my little sister went. So I threw him in the air. 
he flew around and he kept coming right back down to me. And until I threw him up and another bird flew past that was similar to him. And he took off after it and he was gone. He was gone. Man, that was the uh, chicken little. Then it was Poe. P-O-E. Poe was a crow. But when I got him, he was little. Little bitty. He fell out of a tree somewhere. Once again, I thought it was a sparrow or a robin or something. Because it wasn't black at first. I don't know what's going on. But as he grew, he, he started turning black. And then I noticed his beak started turning yellow. So I said, oh, man. I got a crow. But this this bird, Poe po never uh flew. He never flew. He would just walk on the floor. And one day we had a cat. And a cat came up to him and he spread his wings like this and was was trying to, you know, trying to fight the cat. So I got the got him up and, and brought him back in my room. So I had him in my room for a couple of months until he got old enough to fly then i took him on the back porch and then i just threw him out and then he flew back and i threw him back again he flew back then i threw him back and then the, the last time he flew away <laughs> yeah pull the crow pull the crow i got that from uh that name from edgar allen poe edgar allen poe he uh had a story like that Okay, then I start getting guinea pigs. I advise you right now, don't get guinea pigs, okay? Maybe you can deal with that, that noise and stuff, but if you can't deal with a lot of noise, don't get them because they make loud noise. At first, when I got them, he, he was little, big boy. He was small, you know. And he would, <laughs> he wouldn't make a lot of noise. But man, when he got older, he would squeak, 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 squeak. It was real loud. And every little sound, if you get, if you waking up in the morning, you say, oh, squeak, 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 squeak. He, he starts screaming. He starts screaming. And I had got a, a female for him, a female to, you know, just calm him down, maybe. Maybe that'll calm him down. Maybe he won't screech so much. Wrong. Wrong. I was wrong. That made him, that was two of them screaming. Then they had babies. And when the babies are born, they're fully, they got hair on them and everything. And they ready to eat solid food. That's crazy. So they... I think she had like three or four babies and they were screaming. So then there was a whole trio of them screaming. When they got older, the baby got older, they had babies. I guess their father was their babies or was they was the uh baby's daddy for uh for their babies, you know. So it was crazy. So I finally, I had to get rid of all of them. All of them. They were gone. Oh, uh, big boy. Oh, last but not least was Joey. Joey was a, a, a fish I had, a fish. And he was deformed. He was a deformed fish. And I saw him in at a pet shop. It was a, a pet shop called Ruby's begonia rubies so i went there and and it, in, in this tank they had a lot of fish but it was just one weird fish swimming in there and he didn't have a tail he was shaped like like this and no tail so it was like this that's how it was shaped like this up here is his mouth and back in the back was his tail so it was, it was like his tail 
Excuse me. I think I'm catching a cold or something, or my allergies or something. Well, Joey was a little bitty, little bitty thing. So I said, he asked me which one I want out the tank. I said, that one. And he said, oh no, don't don't get that one. There's something wrong with him. I said, I know. I want him. I want to give him a shot of life because they call uh fish that are not, you know. Right. You know, that are deformed or something like that. They, they kill them. They eliminate them. So I want to give them a shot of life. So I, I took them in. Joey survived, needless to say. He survived. Matter of fact, he survived for four or five years. Four or five years. And he didn't die, but he died from uh, some disease that the uh, fish get in the tank, you know, and he died. But Joey, he ended up getting about like this, this big. And he was round, but the, the tail was missing. It was like a big chunk was taken out, but it, it looked perfect. It looked okay, but it looked like. Somebody took a chunk. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna draw a diagram of the, the fish right quick. Like this, and this how he looked like this. If y'all can uh, see this, see this. That's how he looked. Tail was gone right there, but he swam with these. He just Move those around, and he was able to move around the tank. He was able to move around the tank, and he was perfectly fine. Matter of fact, the lady fish, I got more fish, some similar to his his family of fish, whatever breed he was, and he was quite the ladies' man. He was. They loved him. The other fish, the female fish that were in my tank gravitated to him. And he had a, a lot of babies. But they were normal, but it was just him. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Old Joseph. Well, let's get back to the Frosty Snowman. Okay, let's put the uh, skin on. Well, remove his hat and go. We're going to start with his head this time. We're going to start with his head. There must have been some magic in that old silk cart they found. But when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Okay, here we go. Okay, do the head first. Make sure you lift that nose up. And tuck. Tuck it, tuck under. Take a small piece, put it right here. And... Go around. Yeah, a small piece here on the top of his head. Like so. Man, it's been raining a lot lately. I think it's kind of raining out there now. So. You can take his arms off if you want. Take his arms off. Then go around like so. Go around. All right. Just keep going around. But Make sure you dent in. I'm going to show you. So, 
we can make him look like a snowman, you know? Right, right here. Right here. Dent in right there. Make sure you dent in and round his neck. See? Just dent in around the edges. That's it. We're going to get some more. All right. Dent in. Dent. 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 See that? Just like that. Now we just got to put tape down here. Oh my goodness. Well, it looked like I've got a long work week this weekend. So I may not, I may, can't make a video Saturday. It depends on how I feel. No, I, it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Because they got me working a special event. Then I still got to work at my same branch, so it's not possible. But I'll be thinking of you guys, and I'll be creating more material in my head. Okay. Now, I'm going to make sure we got all of this sold up first. Before we get to the rest of it. Now. There we go. Make sure to put this nose all the way in there. See? Now, let's put those arms back on. Here. Should be sticky. Stick them down with a little piece of tape. Just a little piece. It's nothing too crazy. Just a little piece of tape. Hold up. I'm going to cut this because it's too long. Okay. Stick that there. And we're going to put a little piece of tape over across it. Nothing, nope, nothing to worry about. Put a little piece of tape on that arm. Now, see, now, let's start painting now. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I was going to say, here it is. You got black. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to say, not again, no. We're going to put white. I'm going to get a wide brush, a kind of semi-wide brush. And we're just gonna paint over. Don't paint the nose though. Don't paint the nose. Just paint the head and the rest of the body. But don't paint the arms in the in the head. I mean the arms in the nose. These make uh, pretty good ornament, ornaments, too. Ornaments. Sorry. You ever have a word that you don't hardly say too much? 
then you got to say it. <laughs> Ornaments. You can take this and get one of those hooks that that they hang the regular ornaments with. Stick the hook up on the top and then have put this on your Christmas tree. That's if you got a Christmas tree, but all right. Okay. So we're gonna make him white. You look so beautiful in white. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna paint his belly. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. But when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. All right. Make sure you get pay close attention to the little nooks and crannies of his head. Want to get the, get all of those there. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now for the nose. Like I said, I'm making mine as a carrot. But you can make yours a button nose. Whatever, but I like making it the carrot because it stands out. Yes, it is raining out there. I hear it. They should have said carrot. Okay, there's the nose. Now we got to get black. This a dot. Dot of, of black. Man. And take it and just put buttons down his the front part of. Just put buttons down the front. See? All right, let's go to the hat. All right. Now we're going to go to the hat. What color should we make the hat? Black? We got to put some skin on the hat first. Gonna go like this. Just go around it and fold it under. Go around the rim first. Like so, you see? Straight around, just like so. Then we're going to fold it over. Let's get a little more on the back part of the uh, brim. Then we finish with this. Then we can decide what color we're going to paint. I don't know what color. I guess his hat was black. It was black, right? Well, we can, I guess you can make it any color you want because it's a fictitious character anyway. I'm sorry to bust y'all bubble, but Frosty the Snowman wasn't real, okay?
All right. Now, there it is. Hi. Okay. Let's make the hat black. Take a little of your black. Put it on there. And we're going to use the same brush we used to put the little buttons on them. So. I'll go around. I was playing. I was playing with y'all when I said the Frosty's snowman wasn't real. Okay. I I was playing with y'all when I said that Frosty's snowman is real. He's a real individual, and I don't know what significance did Frosty. Dude, he didn't give you gifts or nothing. What did Frosty do? Was he? I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyway, Frosty Snowman is real, okay? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have joked like that with y'all. Okay? Shouldn't have joked with y'all like that. Frosty Snowman is real. Okay, here, here's the hat. Now we want to turn the hat over and we want to get right around here. But don't go in the center because that's the part that's going to stick to Frosty Snowman here. All right. There we go. There we go. See? Like that. Now. Wait, too big. Hat too big. Here we go. Now. You got to do the arms, which you can do brown or any color you want. Okay. Now, I like this color. This is a uh, oxy, red oxy. All right. I think it brings the color out. You know, brings everything. Make it give you that pop. You know. Pow! I guess it's going to rain all day. This sleeping weather, though. That rain? Boy, watch out now. I'm going to be like Rip Van Winkle. All right, there we go. Frosty the snowman, thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Look at Frosty go, thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills in snow. All right, y'all. That's it for my mask and tape treasures. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like, and hit that bell notification. Beep, <laughs>
hit that bell notification so you'll know when, I, when I'm uploading my next video. And share, share, share. This is very crucial for me because it helps to get my video out to everybody, a wider range of, of people, a wider audience. All right. All right. Stay tuned tomorrow for another Mask and Tech Treasure. Until then, peace, adios, salam.